Have you been feeling stuck? Stressed? Uninspired? Unmotivated? Do you need a helping hand? But right here, right now, we are here to help. Hello, I'm Alan Tyson and welcome to Teachable Moments, brought to you by Inspire to Teach One, where opportunity finds purpose, which meets success. Through Teachable Moments, we will be the guide that helps navigate different pathways of opportunities for you. This episode, we tackle issues about how to stay creative in the midst of chaos. Or in other words, how do you stay sane when it seems the world is not? But first, let's define creativity. According to Webster's Dictionary, creativity is the ability to make new things or think of new ideas. For some of us, there is so much going on in our minds, and now we have to add the pandemic, watching senseless murders on Facebook and Twitter, and even just day-to-day -day life. It can all get a little muddy sometimes. So here are two artists who are different in their approach to their personal creativity, but each with the same result, success. Skylar Johnson is a singer, songwriter, who is jumping right in and taking full advantage of this opportunity. He is not letting the pandemic stifle his artistic abilities. Let's take a listen. That is working it out for us. <laughs> He's working it out for us. There are a lot of positive things um, that have come out for a lot of creative people um, because it's caused people like myself to kind of get back to the core um into the heart of you know what we do i'm doing a um me and my friend we're doing a vlog um just about uh current events we're doing a vlog um uh me and one of my other good friends he's a, I'm a graphic designer so we're actually working on a cartoon about oh, wow. uh, about my life because i just feel like i have more of something to say to people and just really encourage and inspire people through all of this Another artist, Sherry Wycliffe, who was living in the epicenter of the pandemic, New York City, describes how she doesn't want to feel pressured to do certain things, but rather explore different avenues of creativity and the freedom found from that. Sometimes the cabin's gloomy and the table bare. Then he'll kiss me and it's Christmas everywhere. Troubles fly away and life is easy, though. Does he love me good? That's all I need to know. There's different like levels of the creativity, whether it's, okay, I'm going to be really focused and do like a task, rehearse some uh, vocal work and look at a monologue, that kind of stuff. That for me is feels like pressure right now. So I kind of mm -hmm. tend to do a little less of that. But what I find is also helpful is freeing myself up to do something completely random. Like right now it's crocheting a blanket, no matter how terrible this blanket turns out. It's something that <laughs> it's very uneven. I can admit it, but at the end I'll be like, I did it. Um, but it's oh, something but it's like that exploring different things. Yeah, yeah, like if you go out and you and, and then I do find that when I do that or just like doodling with all like color pens and all of that jazz. Like it does make you feel, it frees up your brain because you do have so much stress going on that it is hard to really explore because even if you are in a really blessed situation where you've got your house and everyone's healthy and you have a job and there, there's still chaos happening in the world. It's not our, our normal day to day. Um, so it's nice to be able to start off with something kind of free, breezy, easy. And then I find that it does free up my mind where I am writing and I'm realizing like, oh, I just like did writing today. That wasn't the plan, but I've got all these thoughts and ideas. What are some of the different avenues of creativity? Since you said crocheting, you do, are you doing anything else during the shutdown that might be interesting to note for a young adult? <laughs> like, what else can they do? I have been doing some uh, vocal work nothing too strenuous but also making sure that i am ready and i am prepared um i'm really blessed to have a roommate who is a vocalist and she's excellent so it keeps me on my toes it's not like we're rehearsing right. together or anything but it just reminds me hey you know there's someone else who is in this world too doing the same thing you are and they're figuring out how to you know 
press on, let, let yourself be creative and actually push yourself a little bit to go further than you normally would in the midst of this. It Mm -hmm. takes a little concentration, but once you get there, it, it does feel good. The two also give their advice for the young creative minds of this pandemic and what they can do to stay sane and creative. It is honestly just through all of this, don't let anyone stifle your creativity. You know, you know, get whatever you can out of it. Like whether that's rest, whether that's, you know, um, a, a business plan or that's, if that is, you know, being more creative, do that, you know, do that. I mean, I think sometimes we, we kind of, you know, try to align ourselves to what other people want us to do. Um, mm-hmm. I, you know, I think, you know, everybody's, everybody's motivation during this quarantine is different. You know, everybody's goals are different. You know, I don't care how much you post, uh, especially the creatives, because honestly, you don't know who's watching. You don't know who's watching. It is okay to feel stuck and frustrated and scared. What you have to do is to still push on through it. Um, Don't wallow in the feeling. The main key is to don't think you have to hide your feelings, but don't wallow in them either. Your feelings, mm. one thing, uh, there's a podcast I listen to and Nicole Byer says all the time that her therapist reminds her, feelings are not bad. So you can feel sad, but that doesn't mean that everything in the world is bad, right? So accept your feeling and then move through the feeling. And that's it's all going to be okay. Mm. I know it does not feel like it right now. We're all experiencing a lot of grief and death of all kinds of nature, but it just feel it and then move through it. You'll be okay. Let's review what Skylar and Sherry said in three points. One, focus on what you do from the heart by preparing and planning. Two, explore different avenues of creativity by remaining open and teachable. And three, feelings are not fact. So follow through on what you plan to do. Stay ready so you don't ever have to get ready. That's the rule. Remember to go after your purpose in all areas of life. Stay creative, however that may look for you, no matter what. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Alan Tyson, and this is Teachable Moments, brought to you by Inspire to Teach One, where opportunity finds purpose, which meets success.